Hi, I'm Caribbean Andy, and for today's episode, I'm wearing a watch. So, uh, this cocktail today, the Yellow Parrot, doesn't that sound fun? Wait, I have a shirt with parrots on it. Why am I not wearing that? Okay, so today we're making a Yellow Parrot. I think these are parrots. Uh, maybe they're macaws. Is that a type of parrot? I'm not a bird guy. Anyway, today we're making a yellow parrot. It's uh, originally printed in 1922 in Robert Vermeer's Cocktails, How to Mix Them. And how you mix this one is by stirring it a very long time. It uses absinthe, and if you've ever had absinthe or ouzo, sambuca, anything with that sort of like wormwood, anise uh, kind of flavor, those liqueurs uh, get cloudy as you add water to them. And that's the, the water uh, is actually drying out the oils from those barks and spices. Uh, they'll, they'll dissolve in alcohol, but not in water. Uh, so when we're making this cocktail, we're stirring it for a very long time so that it be can become uh, super diluted and uh, create sort of an emulsification of these oils and spirits. I've never tried it before either. Uh, so we're gonna stir it for at least a minute. That's why I have my watch on. Uh, I'm probably still just gonna guess. But also, uh, I'm really curious to see how this goes. Uh, another person might have uh, done a practice one. I did not. I don't have that kind of time. Uh, time, again. Uh, well, let's stop wasting it. Let's, let's make this cocktail. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and serve it on the rocks. Uh, I'm gonna put some nice big square cubes in there. That's good. And then uh, I'm gonna use a mix of those as well as some um, meltier ice to build our cocktail. And it's equal parts, probably my favorite way to make a beverage. So we're gonna do one ounce of our absinthe. One ounce of apricot liqueur. and one ounce of yellow chartreuse. Fill this with ice. I'm not messing around. And then stir it for a whole minute. Wow, you can see it's really gotten cloudy and thick, almost, almost milky. Strain that right over our top. What a fun little science experiment. And then we're gonna do a big lemon peel as our garnish. Just, yeah, we'll just put it right in there. And this is our yellow parrot. Cheers. Mm. I have never tasted anything like this in my entire life. Wow, first, may I suggest don't try this if you don't like absinthe. Uh, obviously yellow chartreuse has a lot of similar uh, sort of flavor, so you're really getting that like big herbaceous punch uh, definitely in there. Apricot liqueur. Uh, this is uh, the uh, uh, Rothman in Winter. I just went through six brand names in my head. Uh, this is super sweet, really like nectary, has some like notes of honey, obviously apricot forward. This stuff, a little goes a long way. With an ounce of it in this cocktail, you really are just getting a touch of sweetness. It's crazy. Uh, this is still really balanced. Um, if this cocktail appeals to you, try and make it. Uh, And it's got such a nice texture. It really does have like a really nice creamy mouthfeel. My goodness. This is, this is really something. Huh. There are people who recommend shaking it to get that additional dilution and that would certainly uh, speed up the process. Ooh. 
really lingers in your mouth. Um, but yeah, this is a this is a wild time. If you want to go out on an adventure uh, in the in the jungle and look for a parrot, well, this is the path to head down. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Uh, thank you for your time, uh, and uh, have a great rest of your day. Make sure hit the like button, please. Obviously, I need the attention, and uh, I hope you're subscribed because that'll get my videos to you, and it'll get you to me. It'll just bring us closer. Uh, thank you so much. Cheers. <laughs>